In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning. I don't know if you've uh, had the experience, I'm sure most of you have, of having to go and visit someone and visit a family in a funeral home. Well, when I do, just before I go into the funeral home, I usually turn off my car engine, and I sit quietly in my car, and I try to uh, put myself in the proper frame of mind. I ask myself, and I ask Jesus, how can I be an instrument of your peace? And then after quieting down and stilling my heart, I go into the funeral home to visit with friends and family and share their grief and to share in their joy of celebrating their loved one's life. I mention this to you this morning because today on Monday of Holy Week, let's just take a moment this morning to turn off the engine of our lives and just sit quietly, sit contently for a minute and ask ourselves, how should we react over these next few days leading up to Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and then of course Easter? How would Jesus want us to prepare? Holy Week is the summit of our lives as Christians. Every single one of us, we've all asked this question. It's an age-old question. Why do bad things always happen to me? Why do I always get caught? Why do I always end up getting in trouble and other people don't? Why is sickness in my family and not in other people's family? All of us have asked these questions. This week, we watch as Jesus, innocent, without blame, without sin, Jesus is innocently condemned, tortured, put to death. He did nothing wrong, and he never asked the question, why does this always have to happen to me? We find strength in Jesus when we go through those rough journeys in our lives. We have the confidence of knowing that just as Jesus rose at the other end of the suffering, we too will share in his joy and in his resurrection and in his promise of eternal life. We see this week how much Jesus loves each and every one of us. Let us rejoice and be glad. Let us savor the love that Jesus has for us all. Now this morning, I would like to share and I'd like to ask the school community to pray for the soul of Will Santos. Mr. Santos was a teacher. He uh, taught in the PIPA program here at St. Paul's School. More recently, he's been teaching at St. Joseph's School in Streetsville. He passed away this past weekend. We received some very sad news late Friday that he died in his sleep in Portugal. He was recovering from an illness, very unexpected, and we're going to pray for Mr. Santos in just a moment. We also let us make sure that we're ready for Thursday. This Thursday we're going to have a pageant of uh, the passion of Jesus, Miss McMahon and her drama class, and a cast of hundreds have been involved in this spectacular presentation in which we're going to walk with Jesus to Calvary. We're going to journey with him. Let us be ready. Let us use Holy Week to prepare for Easter. Now for the soul of Mr. Santos and all of our deceased loved ones, we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And may the souls of the faithful departed, especially for Mr. Santos, through the mercy of God, may they all rest in peace. Amen. St. Paul, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Good morning, St. Paul's. I'm Al Korn, and here are today's announcements. This is just a reminder that the students signed up to write the Waterloo Math Contest will be writing in the library right after announcements on the following days, Tuesday, April 7th for the grade 12s, and to, oh, sorry, Wednesday, April 8th for the grade 9s to 10s, 11s, thank you. Uh, the Peel P Police Information Session. Peel Police Career Information Session is on April 22nd, Wednesday at 1 o'clock p.m. The location is Malton Employment Resource Center, that's 3233 Brandon Gate Drive, Unit 6, Mississauga. You need to register to attend. To all members of M&Ms, please remember to attend rehearsal this Wednesday in the cafetorium for a sound check in preparation for the Holy Thursday Assembly. See you at 2.30 Wednesday, April 8th. Also, new members are always welcome to the M&Ms. Join us on April 15th as we start rehearsals for Easter Mass. Would you like to earn some money tutoring a grade seven math student? The job would be one to two hours a week and the location is negotiable. If you are interested, please see Ms. McHenry for more details. There will be a girls slow pitch practice in the gym Wednesday after school. There will be a senior boys ba uh, soccer practice sorry, today, Tuesday, and Wednesday after school. If you cannot make it to any of these days, please see Mr. Sulfitis or Mr. O'Reilly before lunch. There will be a SPAC meeting on Tuesday after school. Attention all track and field athletes. Trials will be postponed until tomorrow after school. Attention all boys ba baseball players trying out for this year's team. There will be a brief meeting today after school in the gym. All wishing to try out must attend this meeting. Attention all girls flag football players. There's practice this week on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday morning at 6.45. You are to bring both cleats and running shoes. And finally, a reminder to the badminton team that there will be a practice tomorrow after school. Seniors, it is extremely important that you attend tomorrow's practice. Will Catherine Zajac, Andrea Henriquez, and Katie Cusper please see Ms. Pereira immediately after announcements in room 124. Those are all the announcements for today, St. Paul's. Please enjoy the song of the day, won by Metallica, and have a good one.